Nigeria was among the nations colonized by the British. You can see school, school children holding their flags that day, 60 years ago. So that's why all of you are holding those flags here today. Go ahead. Just like those colonized by all the colonial powers, such as the Portuguese and Spanish. On 1st October 1960, Nigeria got an independence from Britain. Since then, we got our independence the from Britain. We got our independence from. Thank you. Uh -huh. has remained so, so that's the TBS. You can see it used to be called the race course. It's at the back of this building. Go ahead. Important today in the history of our nation. So you can see school children Nigeria. marching. You can see them. You can see the flag they are holding. That's the exact flag you are holding now. It's the same green, white, green flag. Okay? Go on. Nigeria's independence was achieved through diplomatic means, unlike some other countries that achieved their sovereignty through the use of so force. The lady was representing the Queen of England on the day they gave us the independence. She was representing who? The Queen of England. That was when we were getting our independence. The path. Go ahead. To Nigeria's independence was dotted with many constitutional conferences or meetings held at Britain and Ibadan. The colonial master, Britain, provided an opportunity for the people That's to engage and agree among themselves on the nature of government they would like okay, to adopt. Wait, wait, so I want to show you some faces. Who has heard of Chief Obafemi Aolowo? Good. They've, they've passed him now. So there's Chief Obafemi Aolowo, there's Dr. Namdi Azikwe, there's Alaji Abu, um, Tafa Balewa. Those were the three big prominent Nigerians at that time, and they were showing their pictures now. So if the video can just go back a little bit, or if you still have their photos, we want to show them. Go ahead. Through the use of force. The path to Nigeria's independence was dotted with many constitutional conferences or meetings held at Britain and Ibadan. The colonial master, Britain, provided an opportunity for the people to engage and agree among themselves on the nature of government. That's Abubaka Sadauna of Sokot. Tafa Balewa. They would like to adopt post independence. The welfare uh -huh. of millions of people. We're talking. Go ahead. For generations to come, may be affected by the wisdom which we here display. If Nigerian leaders and our British partners are to prove themselves worthy of their trust, Hello. now is the time for us solemnly and truly to dedicate ourselves to seeking the greatest good of the greatest number of our people in Nigeria. The independence ceremony was held at the race course Lagos, now known as Tafawa Balewo Square, TBS. The venue was packed full with Nigerians from all walks of life who came to witness the beginning of Nigeria's transition to nationhood. 
The signal of the new sovereign nation was handed over by Princess Alexandra, the representative of Her Majesty, the so Queen of England, to Sir. The lady came to represent the Queen and is handing it over to the Prime Minister then, Alaji Tafawa Balewa. That's him in white. Okay? So, let me, let me explain what happened. So I don't want to complicate it and make it too difficult for you. So 60 years ago, the first prime minister was Tafa Balewa. But by 1963, we became a republic, meaning we now had a president. So the first president was Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, right? Do you remember in your civic book? In your, yes, so it was the first president in 1963 who was late Dr. Namdi Azikiwe. At that time, we did not have 36 states. Oh. Do you hear? You know we have 36 states now. You all know? Good. Can we clap for that small video? Can we just do a small clap for that video? I don't want you to stay under the sun for too long. I want to make it very brief. So we cannot talk about Nigeria because it's going to take me 60 years to talk about Nigeria. And we don't have 60 years. I have only six minutes or five minutes, right? So I cannot take everything in 60 years. So you can see how we started. Even you can see that the video at that time is not the kind of video that your mommy will show you now. The video I show you now is very colorful. You like the video they show you now. You can see that the video then it was white and black. Abi, you can see that it looked very old. The videos were not very nice because we didn't have a phone at that time. What did I say? We didn't have a mobile phone at that time. So we didn't have colored pictures, all these things that are going up and down. They didn't have these kind of cameras. The cameras, there were just black and white. So that's why you can see that it has, it's a long time ago. 60 years is a long time ago. But Nigeria has gone through a lot of ups and downs. What did I say? Nigeria has gone through ups, ups and, and downs. downs. It has gone through so many problems. It has gone through so many challenges, but we're still remaining today as one big nation. A round of applause for Nigeria. I think we deserve to give Nigeria a round of applause. And by the way, you know that Nigeria is the biggest black nation in the entire world. Did you hear me? Nigeria, your country, is the biggest black nation in the entire world. And the world has over 200 countries. So you can imagine if Nigeria is the biggest black nation. So we're a very big country. We're a very, very powerful country. And we have so many tribes. Some of us are Yorubas. Some of us are Aousas. Some of us are Igbos. Some of us are Ibibios. We have over 200 tribes in Nigeria. So it's a big country. And I don't want to talk about which government, which government, because there's so many governments. The military had ruled us before, then the, poli the, the political party came, they went again, the military came back again. We've gone through so many tribulations as a country. You remember that we've gone through a civil war before. They've told you Nigeria had a civil war between 1967 and 1970, but that's behind us now, because after the war, we have rebuilt our nation back. Am I speaking too fast? Huh? You can understand me, okay? But now you know that we have political parties now that are running the nation, right? We have the president who is the leader of the nation, President Muhammad Buhari in Abuja. You know him? Good. And he's leading a political party. But it's not only one party that is running, they have other parties. So we're all living together as a big nation. So what is happening with our, with our governance is we have a government that we call the presidential system, which is we'll have a president, we'll have governors in the state. How many states did we say we have? 36. Yeah, Lagos is one of them. And by the way, Lagos is the smallest state in the country. Are you with me? Lagos is still the smallest, smallest in terms of the area, the, the, the land mass that we occupy. But we have the largest population in the country. 
to have a challenge in Lagos. Okay? But what I want to leave with you, and that's why I've invited all of you. All of you look at me. All of you just look at me for one minute. What I want to leave with you is this. You are the leaders of tomorrow. What did I say? So you repeat it by yourself. When I say you, you said we are the leaders of tomorrow. One, two, go. We are the leader of tomorrow. Good. Because you, why do I say you are the leaders of tomorrow? I'm not sure that I'll be around for another 60 years again. Look at me. I'm not sure that I'm going to be around for another 60 years. But I can tell you, by the grace of God, all of you here will still be alive. Another 60 years. How old are you now? So you'll be 70. You're still alive. How old are you now? Nine. You'll be 69. You're still alive. How old are you now? You'll be 71. So you'll still be alive. So you need to say to yourself, by the time Nigeria is 120 years, I will still be alive. You will still be alive, right? So I want you to see yourself as the future leaders of Nigeria. Do you understand? I want you to see yourself as the leaders of the country tomorrow. Because 60 years ago, they were the little, little children. They were holding the flag. Now, the same way you are the ones that are holding the flag. And by that time, you will become governors, you will become senators, you will become engineers, you become doctors, you become musicians, you become big footballers, you become artists, you become whatever you want to be. What would you want to be? A footballer. See, I just, I, I got it. I knew he looked like a Ronaldo, or he looked like a, which, who is your best? Messi. Oh, jeez. He likes the Messi. So you see, he has plans. What would you want to become? Lawyer. Lawyer. So you like that they are white and they put on their black um, weave on and gown. You like them, you see? So you become a big lawyer in the future so that you can give us laws and regulations that we'll all live with. You know what you want to become? Oh, jeez. That's what I wanted to be, too. Give me five. Ow! <laughs> Jesus. Pilot. So you want to become a pilot? And you? I want to become a scientist. Oh, jeez. She wants to go to the moon. She wants to become a scientist. Right? So you can see that all of you have dreams. Okay? All of you have dreams. What do you want to become? A pilot. Oh, Jesus. Another female pilot. What would you want to become? A surgeon. A soldier. I like a, a what? A surgeon. You want to be cutting people? You want to learn science. That's good. What would you want to become? An artist. An artist. See? Everybody has a plan. So the only way you can make that plan work, hello, the only way you can make that pl plan work is you need to believe in your country. You need to believe in Nigeria. You need to see that this flag is what brings all of us together as a nation. Because 60 years ago, they handed over this flag. And we're still holding on this flag. We're still making this flag unity and faith and progress. We're believing that with this flag, everybody can become what they want to be. You can become a doctor. You can become an artist. You can become a footballer. You can become a surgeon. You can become a whatever. But you'll be a leader in your chosen profession. What did I say? You'll be a leader. Because at the time... You will also have your own children, your grandchildren, and you will become a leader. So I brought you here so that you can dream and dream well. What's your name? My name is Oloiwan Ivien. Thank you, Ivien. Ivien. So I want all of you to dream. 
What did I say? I want all of you to dream. This house that we brought you in, look at this building. This building is where the governor lives, but this same building has been on for over 100 years. This building, they've just renovated it, but it's been on for over 100 years. So all the governors in Lagos have lived here. I'm sure some of you want to become a governor one day, right? So I want you to dream. I want you to dream and believe in yourself. I'm coming. That other building there, you can see that pink building. Look out there. You can see that pink, pink building down there. That used to be the president's residence. The president of Nigeria used to live there. So you see that you are around where all of them lived. You can see that building was built several, several decades ago before I was born. Do you understand? Am I speaking too much? Am I speaking above your head? So I just want you to know that the future, it's about all of you. The future is for all of you. The future is what you believe coming here today to be an inspiration for each and every one of you. That's for why, for me, this is the biggest 60th celebration. It's to hand over the button. It's to hand over the challenge to all of you. That the 60 years that we have ahead of us is about all of you here in this place. Okay? Okay? So you repeat after me. The 60 years we have ahead of us is for all of us here. And that we will aspire to be leaders in our choosing profession. To be leaders in our living profession. So you are giving me that assurance. Yes, you are giving me that assurance from here today. Because I'll be checking on each and every one of you. What did I say? I'll be checking on each and every one of you. What's your name? Samuel. Samuel. Samuel, what? Alaskomi. Alaskomi. How old are you? Seven years. Oh, man, he's a young man. Seven years old. But you've heard what I said. Right? What do you want to become in the future? Police. Ah, say it again. Police. See? He wants to be a law enforcement. Of, he wants to be a protector of all of us. He wants to save our life. Thank you very much for wanting to be a police officer. Huh? What's your name? My name is Okiki. Okiki? Yes. How old are you? I am nine years nine old. Nine years old. What do you want to become? I want to be a teacher. Ah! <laughs> Aren't you all lucky? Eh? Commissioner oh, my. Is you can excited. see? <laughs> so that's the future. She wants to impact knowledge. Thank you, and you'll be a great teacher. Amen? So, the story about Nigeria is so much about the video we've seen. But for me, the bigger story about Nigeria is the story of each and every one of you going forward. Right? So, you all believe in the Nigeria dream? Do you all believe in Nigeria, our country? Yeah. Do you all believe in Nigeria, our country? Yes. Do I get a big shout to that? Do we believe in Nigeria, our country? Yes. Good. Can we get our flags up? In Nigeria, we believe. All your flags up. Can we just wave over our flag? Where's my own flag? Where's my, they've not even, where's my own flag? Can we all believe in our own? Can we wave our hands and say we believe in Nigeria of our dreams? We believe in Nigeria. Thank you very, 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 very much. <laughs> you see, we've had a great session here this morning. This is the real Nigeria of our dreams. This is the future for our great nation. All of you in this place today, on this lawn, you are the great future that we're looking up to. You are going to be the great leaders of our country. Are we right? Good. 
Do you believe in yourselves? You are going to have a dream and say to your parents, I am going to have a big dream for my life. Okay? Thank you very much. I like the way I've gone around all of you. I know that you're all inspired. And like I said, I'll be monitoring each and every one of you. I'll follow you up in your school. Beautiful beginning. Right? Footballer. So you like Barcelona. Oh, God. <laughs> Can these children be upstanding and um, give the governor a round of applause with their flags, please? With Can you flags. be upstanding? Let's see your flags up. Your flags. Say happy birthday, Nigeria. Happy birthday, Nigeria. Happy anniversary, Nigeria. Happy anniversary, Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Well, thank you, Mr. Governor. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Governor. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Governor. Thank you, our mommy, the first lady of Lagos State. Your flag, your flag. Let me see Nigeria off. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, children, are you happy? Are you really happy? SG Mama. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Mama Sibik. Thank you very much. The top government functionaries here present. Family and friends. The pressmen and the women. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ma. And our great gems, the greater tomorrows, our diamonds, our jewels. Thank you so much for coming here today to witness the 60th anniversary of Nigeria. Like Mr. Governor said, 60 years ago, we were not here. But thank God for history. And I hope Honorable Commissioner and the Ministry of Education will make history be part of the curriculum. I hear now that you have civic um, studies, and thank God that we still have that one to remind us of our history. We also want to say a very big thank you to the media for reminding us through the black and white camera that we, uh, was used to recall those events. Today, you two are making history. You have been recorded. Mr. Governor has said he is taking note of each and every one of you through your various schools. You are representatives of your school. You are representing Lagos. You are representing Nigeria. You are our ambassadors. And so, a number of you have told us what you want to become. Some said they want to become policemen, some scientists, some footballers, and many and many like that. And I remember Mr. Governor telling us that by the grace of God, whatever field you choose, you will be great. There is that slogan we used to say in our school, University of Lagos, great Akokats, great Nigerians, great. And so our prayer is that you'll be greater than us. Amen. You'll go higher than us. Amen. You'll go beyond the shores of Nigeria and make us proud. Amen. Wherever you are, you shall shine. You will rise above everything that you have taught of. You, are, you will always be taught of the Lord. You will be royal diadems in the hand of God. Amen. Wherever you are, you will shine. You will make Nigeria proud. Once again, I want to say a very big thank you to our teachers. I can see the wonderful work you are doing out there for our children. God bless a round of applause you. For your God teachers. bless you, Mars. God bless you, sons. God bless you, our parents. It's not easy. We know during this COVID period, we know what happened. But despite that, you kept on moving forward. God bless you. God will continue to provide for you and Amen. all your needs. Children, please, when you go back to your various schools, remember everything that Mr. Governor has said. He told you about it's not easy, but God is there. He has come to serve his people, like some of you have already indicated, through like being the police officer. God bless you, son, for choosing that profession. God will guide you and direct your affairs of your heart. Amen. Once again, God bless you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Happy Thank Independence. You. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Happy anniversary, Nigeria. Happy anniversary, Nigeria.
happy anniversary, Nigeria. So may I invite the Expo members here present to join Mr. Godwell. Okay. Looking at the camera, don't okay. worry. <laughs> don't touch the balloon. Children, teachers are very wonderful people. Okay, but quickly, count with me. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Thank you very much, Mr. Gondor.